What's going on guys? My name is Kerry. It's almost time to say goodbye to the 16 wide home we set up on lot number 56 in Countryside and it turned out to be the fastest selling house we had of the entire year. It was brought to my attention that during the initial walkthrough, I mentioned I would come back and do a proper tour of this house once we had the power on because the first tour was done in the dark. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. And to keep things fresh, I'm gonna bring a list of every single option that we put into this house so I can point them out as we go through. Then at the end of the video, I'm gonna go up the street and show you the progress of the tiny mansion because it is looking absolutely amazing and I really wanna show it off. And it should be ready for a tour in the next week or so. So if you wanna see that tour, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's go. Here it is, number 56 out in countryside on a snowy day. So first thing I wanna show you is I'm gonna back up a bit. Look at how big this lot is. Nothing in front, and when you spin around, normally you would have the mountain view, but we are a little bit socked in today. So let's have a look around. We just, as I was starting to film, the real estate agent came by and popped that baby in. So that's always good to see. So we are on Third Avenue here in Countryside. Like I said, it's a big lot. What we did was put the sidewalk in. We did a little bit of landscaping before it snowed. So it's always great to be able to get that done. We've got a four by four landing on the front. We'll take a quick cruise around the outside. So we've got eight by 12 deck off the back, which is normally what we'll do on a house this size. But when I show you the tiny mansion, you'll see that we did a 10 by 26 and it looks awesome. But we'll see that in about five minutes. So around the back, not much going on. That shed is on the neighbors. So we've got some nice big trees on this lot, which people always really like. So let's head inside. Oh, the options on the outside. So. On the front, we've got upgraded to 36 inch exterior doors and screen doors. Then you can see we've got a window into the utility room. And we've got the half moon window on the front door and a screen door there as well. So we'll have a quick look up on the deck Lots of room up here to enjoy the mountain view. Golf course is right over there. All right. Let's head inside. Now that we've got power in this house, we will call this the official walkthrough of number 56 in Countryside, which is a 16 wide by 66 foot long, two bedroom, two bathroom home. So if you saw the original walkthrough of this house before the power, stick around because I'm gonna go into a lot more detail on everything that's going on. So the first thing that's jumping out at me is this peninsula. We added these two lower cabinets for a little more storage space. Let's look in there, good place for appliances. And with that, if you're gonna add something like that or an island, make sure you add the overhang. So that way you can cozy up, have snacks, hang out and get a bar stool under there. Now, the next thing I'm seeing that we added was the full tile backsplash. You know I really like that option. And we've got the dishwasher, which isn't standard. One thing that might not be as obvious is the blinds. So believe it or not, blinds are not standard in a lot of homes. So you have to add it or the windows are gonna come totally bare and it's expensive to add them after the fact. So that's one you definitely want to get on your list. Now, the appliances, stainless steel, that's an upgrade. Typical would have been either black or white. So that's a nice addition there. The pot lights we've got in the kitchen, those six there, our upgrades, as well as the four in the living room. 
and then we'll head down to the other side of the kitchen where we added this pantry because I was getting feedback that we simply did not have enough storage. So what do we do? We add more storage. Here is the master bedroom that has that nice mountain view as long as it's not cloudy like today. Normally pretty nice. Well, let's go into the bathroom. Last time we didn't even look in here because it was too dark. So we've got the walk-in closet off the bathroom. Space to hang some clothes. And then the other side, this is an option down here. It's not the biggest of big tubs, but it's kind of somewhere in the middle. So it's not the tiny one. It's uh, got enough room that you can definitely stretch out a little bit, but it's not so big that it takes an hour to fill up. We've got the bank of drawers. Good for, you know, toothpaste, mouthwash, <laughs> dental floss, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, here we go. All of the interior doors, those are the craftsman doors. That's optional. Let's go down. So this floor plan has been so popular for us. If you've seen my home tours, you're probably thinking, Carrie, all these houses are the same. Why? Well, it's because people love them. So why would I change it up when people just, they want this plan. So why would I bring in another plan? It wouldn't make any sense. So down to this side, see this is the standard size tub. You can tell the difference between the two. So we did go with the bank of drawers in this bathroom as well. And then you've got your storage under the sink. Now to the second bedroom. Nice size. Not huge, but it's definitely enough space. And what do we have for view on this side? We've got a street view, but almost every window in this place has a mountain view or today a cloud view. Now I just realized that I forgot to do the laundry room, utility room. So let's go back down to the other end of the house and we'll check that out. Right across from the kitchen, we've got the second entrance. I like that. So we've got a place to hang your jackets coming inside. And then on the other side, this is an option. So you've got the shelf with the two cabinets. You can put your laundry detergent in there. You put your dryer sheets in that side, whatever you want. You could switch it up. It's up to you. Then there's the room for the washer and dryer. Almost forgot what they were called there. So that takes us all the way through this entire house. Now it's time to go down the street and I'm gonna show you the progress on what we've been calling the tiny mansion. Check this out. Look at how good that looks. The 792 square foot tiny mansion, 18 feet wide by 44 feet long. The last video I posted on this place was just over a week ago and it had just been delivered. So we've had a busy week. We splurged for the 10 by 26 foot deck. So we'll see if that pays off. I think it will because who doesn't love outdoor space? So I'm not gonna go inside just yet because we don't have power. Should we do a sneak peek? No, it's too soon. And I wanna do the tour when we've got power. So I think we're supposed to get that on Wednesday and then I'm gonna get it up right away. So if you wanna see that, definitely subscribe to the channel. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.